Hello everyone. I am so grateful and happy to be with you today. You might be at home or you might be in your class, but I want you to remember we're all together. I can see you guys out there and you all look like you're so happy to be here. So today we're going to practice adjusting to things that are changing around us. We have so many changes that have happened. Like Fuzzy here, he told me, this is Fuzzy the Caterpillar, and he's always changing. He's getting ready to change into a butterfly pretty soon. But he was telling me that he's having a hard time getting used to the change of wearing his face mask because sometimes it feels different on his face. That's a change. He also sometimes forgets to wash his hands and it's a change that we always have to remember to wash our hands before we eat, to keep our hands away from our face. So that's a change that we have no control over. And we also have to remember to stay far apart from each other, six feet apart, which is about two of these hand legs apart. So we have a lot going on. But there's so much we do have control over. We have control over our thinking, and we have control over our feelings and we have control over what we say and do or our actions a lot of things we have control over so today we're going to practice change so sit with me and let's practice some breathing and stretching and i'm going to put my mask on so i fuzzy you go on in, in your house it's going to go away for a little bit so i'm going to put my mask on and we're gonna practice breathing. Now the reason that Mrs. Frizzy likes to breathe with all of you is it's the one thing that we can always do when we have those big feelings. If we feel angry or scared or worried about something, we can always take a couple deep breaths. So let's practice that. This is what I call my breathing ball. And when we breathe in to calm ourselves, you have to breathe in through your nose, which might be a change for you. So I want you to breathe in through your nose right now. Feel that, feel that, the oxygen going in through your nose. And then breathe out through your nose. Good, you can do it. All right, so close your lips and let's practice together. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out. Now let's slow it down we slow our breathing down, that's what calms us down. That's what sends a message to our brain to calm down. Okay, let's slow it down. We're gonna breathe into five. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. Good, breathe in, three, four, five. Breathe out. breathing ball down. Let me take my mask off so I can really show you how to do the next one. <clears throat> All right, so when we're breathing and we, we want to make sure to breathe in through our nose, keep our eyes focused on Mrs. Frizzy or one thing in front of you. You want to stay six feet apart, far apart from each other. All right, now, <clears throat> if you're seated in a chair, I want you to practice this with me. Put your arms up like a cactus, or we call these 90 degree angles or right angles. All right, so here, if I say cactus arms, this is what we're gonna do, all right? I want you to take your cactus arms, this elbow right here, wave to me this elbow, okay? And I want you to cross it to your opposite knee. Good, let's try that again. It's hard, isn't it? Let's do it with the other elbow. Wave to me this elbow. Now we're gonna cross it over the midline to our opposite knee, and we're gonna bring that back up. Let's see if we can put that together. So inhale through your nose. Exhale, cross, slow, like we're in slow motion. Excellent. Breathe in, slow, come back up. Or breathe out, cross. Breathe in, come back up. You don't have to be perfect, just move and breathe and cross. One more time, breathe in and cross. All right, now we're gonna get really hard. Stay with me. This is hard, let's stand up. Push your chair in. Keep your eyes on Mrs. Frizzy. All right, elbows out, spread your fingers. 
All right, breathe in. Exhale, cross, lift your knee, see if you can touch your knee. Breathe in, fill up, breathe out, cross. Breathe in, breathe out, cross. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, good, come back to your chair. All right, and if you're on the floor, you can stay on the floor too. You can do the last pose. The last pose is really important because you can do this if you're in your class or your home and you have those big feelings, like if you're angry or you're scared or you're worried, you can do lobster pose. And the lobster, I'll let you get to see him. This is a Florida lobster and he has a hard shell on him and they love to change. They lose their shell and they grow and they get bigger and they get bigger and they're always changing. So they're always getting used to change, just like you. So lobster pose is a very calming pose. I know some kids that love to do this after recess or after they've done something a little bit stressful. All right, so bring your hands in front of you and place them on your desk. And if you're on the ground, just place them on the floor. Now I want you to stretch your hands forward as you're sitting your hips back. So you're gonna really lengthen out your spine. And then your forehead right here, I want you to just bring it down on your desk or the floor. And just stay here, try to get comfortable. And if you can't get your forehead to your desk, just use your hands like this. Whichever way works for you, but I love to just stretch my whole antennas, my lobster antennas out to the front and just be very still and take two of those breaths. Now each breath, I want you to breathe in through your nose, breathe out. Now you do it in your head, count to five and exhale. Each breath is calming you down. Breathe in. adjusting to change. We get to control our thinking. I'm okay with change. How we feel. I feel grateful that I have this safe mask on. I feel grateful in my body. And what we say and do, maybe you need to stretch a little and breathe a little. All right, everyone out there, you get to choose what kind of day you're gonna have today. So make, make sure and choose gratitude. I feel grateful. The choice is 100% yours.